What's going on everybody? My name is Deadstar and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do an 808 slide in FL Studio. So I've had a lot of comments and suggestions on what I should do as far as music tutorials go. Uh, 808 slides showed up a couple times so I feel like that would be the perfect place to start. I'm going to uh, upload a video of me making a beat from beginning to end at some point. Uh, so I'll kind of show my full process of everything from making the drums, mixing, uh, structuring, all that. Sometimes I get kind of in the groove of things and I go a little bit quicker. So I'll try to slow down and really show everything step by step with what I do uh, as far as making beats. Okay, so let's get right into it. So first off, I will just mute everything besides the 808, just to let you hear a couple of the slides that I have uh, throughout this. Just so you can kind of get where I'm coming from as far as 808 slides go, if you don't really know what it is. Uh, so, okay. So first, you can tell with this one, there's not many in this specific track, uh, but just enough to give it a little bit of a different sound to it. So this one, it kind of brings it up, but then cuts it immediately after. So you can hear that, duh. And then same with this one, but I also have it going down instead of cutting. So it'll transition perfectly into the uh, next 808 pattern. So then this one's a little bit more sped up. Yeah, so that's what they would sound like, uh, at least in this specific song. So just to show you how I did that, I'm going to mute everything except for the automations and then bring this down, make it unique, just so that doesn't uh, correspond with any of this and have any of these patterns change while I'm messing with this. So, say you already have your 808 pattern down. You can just click and double click over that uh, note. And there's two little dots down here, or two buttons, I should say. The one on the left, if you look up in the top left-hand side of your screen under where the track name is, or the FLP name, it'll say slide. So you can click that one. Uh, Portamento, you can also add into it. It just gives it a little bit different of a, a uh, sound. So I'm not going to add it into this track just because we're doing slides specifically for this tutorial. So. Once that is clicked and accepted, now if you want, you can stretch this out a little bit just so you can tell the difference of the note. So what I like to do is bring it to the note before it, so the same uh, same key and everything, and hit Control, Up Arrow. If you have a 60% keyboard, Control, F, N, and then whatever your up is. So that brings it up. Just a full octave, so it's the same note, but an octave higher. And then play that. So that slides, and if you extend it, it'll make it extend the slide. So you can really get a little bit of a variation of what you want to do in here. So yeah, instead of having just a simple little bass line or 808 pattern, whatever you want to call it, you can add a couple slides in there and it'll change it up. Obviously these two, they're not specifically placed anywhere that I would have it. Like we can make this work, but 
This was just for the uh, the tutorial sake. So that's how you would slide. Um, I'm gonna delete this since I don't need it necessarily. Open all that back up. And I'll show you guys the uh, the full beat. I'm gonna play this in full uh, at the end of the video to show you what I cooked up as far as this beat goes. Uh, I will also have the link to the beat in the description below. Just want to give a little shout out to Dios Mio Beats. Sent me in this sample to uh, use Chop Up. So you can follow him on Instagram at D I O S M I O B E A T S. Super solid producer, really good loop maker. Uh, hit him up, get some collabs going. But without further ado, thanks for watching. I'm going to have many more tutorials like this up in the near future. Uh, comment down below what you'd like to see um, as far as music, games, really anything. Give me your, your suggestions on what content you'd want to watch. I'm up for anything um, from Easter eggs, glitches, walkthroughs, music tutorials, um, beat reviews, you know, anything. Just let me know down below. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.